studio in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Koza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Coming to you. We're, we're live. My name's Matt. Are we live? I don't know. Are we? Maybe. No, oh, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. We're Twist Gaming. Hi, everyone. Uh, tonight, what are we doing? Uh, we're playing Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. How do we do that? We, like, throw dice at people. Yeah. No, I'm definitely going to throw dice at you. Um, <laughs> no, but this is our ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster with you fine folks at home controlling one of the characters, rolling dice with us, making decisions, and overall nursing some babies. Josh, what happened last week? We died. What do you mean we died? We had TPK. We lost. We did. Badly. Yeah, we, 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 we tried to pull it out. It started out fairly promising, and then we lost two people in pretty rapid succession. And then... Well, we lost the first person to freaking brain trauma. Yeah. Which is just... Yeah. Uh, five or six deaths five last deaths, week? Five I deaths, think. Yeah. So, yeah, it wasn't... And then we came back to murder. Yeah. It wasn't particularly good. Yeah. And that means we got no resources either. Yep. So not a great week, but no. we're hoping this week's better. At least we get to take Mother out this week, right? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> there you go. The This new switch is a little... Sticky? Uh, it's just... Um, it needs to be looped up. What are we fighting? Fighting a level two antelope. What year is it? Year five? I mean, if we took her out last year, that would have been. Would that have been better? We probably wouldn't have died. Who knows? I I feel like we would have fared better because Mother hits pretty hard. Yeah. So, needless to say, we're going after another level two antelope. Let's hope that this week's hunt is as fruitful as last week's. We got a lot of good stuff. Like we would have pulled in a shitload of resources if we actually would have. We had like ten resources before the fight started. Yeah. Like, we were. We were good. We were so good. So you know what that means this week, right, we're Josh? Gonna get no we're going to get fucking nothing, and we're probably like we might lose someone on the hunt. That's just what I'm feeling. I'm jinxing it right now. I'm calling it. Uh, but before we go any further, let's talk about who we're playing as. I said before, chat, you're going to be playing as the mother. So you are going in with two natural strength, full lion armor. Uh, with a cat fang knife and the frenzy drink, which that's something to keep in mind since they don't have a brain tr uh, insanity, might be useful to do the frenzy, so that they way they dash. can get some insanity. It just at some point, yeah. it's, a, it's an idea. Um, I'm playing as Snarf. This is a new baby that we had last week. I've got one natural strength, some cloth waist armor, and a greater gax, and that's it. Josh, how about you? I'm playing as Bastet. And who is running with Frawhide Armor and the Rib Blade. Mm -hmm. And then Joe Exotic, uh, who has more natural strength as well. This has a full Rawhide set, a Bone Club, and a Bone Dart. Mm -hmm. um, but that's it. We're ready to start. So, Josh, I need you to do the Care Bear Stare. Is that what the Care Bear I Stare have, looks like? I have like? no idea what I the Care Bear either. Stare looks like. Um, I'm going to go first. You're going to go second and third. And Twitch is going to go fourth. Because that's how we do things here. Is it? It is now. I mean, it always has been. But, you know. What do you think we're going to do first? Uh, we're going to find a cup. Uh, no, we're going to find a carpet of ticks. Uh, the ground is covered with a carpet of huge writhing ticks. Each survivor must fend off the swarm and roll a d10 and add your hunt XP to the result. This is starting off great. Uh, I need dice, Matthew. Oh, that's, that's lovely. It's wonderful. Oh, no. No button? No, they rolled a nine. So they're fine. What did you roll, Josh? One and a two. I rolled a two also. How much hunt XP do you have? None. Yeah. So um, otherwise, on a result below six, the ticks make you sick. Reduce your survival to zero. 
Roll a d10, Josh. Two ones. All right. We're, we don't lose strength, but we have no survival. Yay. This is starting out really good. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Um, well, here comes a TPK and a game over. Yeah. Uh, Josh, this is your first character. Who is this? Uh, this is Bastet. What are they doing? Uh, they're rolling some dice. Random Hunt event! Yay! Oh, that's why the button's not working. Because <clears throat> you turned the overlay off. Yeah, I turned it I turned it off. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. You know, if they made that song about Ice Chamber, it'd be called go Don't Go Jason Waterfalls. Josh, they're all the 52. What's a 52? Um, I don't know. It is mad flies. Tiny persistent insects swarm the survivors, flying into their ears and nostrils. The bugs buzz maddeningly in their heads, growing louder as they rest. Each survivor rolls a d10. Oh, yay. What do you roll, Matt? Oh, yay. Josh, what did you roll? Uh, a three and a nine. I roll a one. And Twitch rolled a three. A one is you dive into a nearby marsh to flush out the disgusting insects. It works, but now you're constantly distracted by the tiny bug corpses you occasionally hack up. Gain a minus one evasion token. Good job, Matt. Yay! Uh, you and Twitch with the threes. The buzzing immediately stops and the flies depart. Their rejection makes you feel strangely despondent. Gain plus one insanity. Okay. That, that's handy. And what was the other one you rolled? A uh, nine. Their eggs gestate incredibly quickly and the mad flies explode forth from your mouth. The experience is gruesome but makes you feel alive. Suffer the frenzy brain trauma. Yeah, I mean, I don't have survival, so... Sure. Um, do you have Rageaholic? No. Okay. Josh, roll a uh, a uh, D5. One insanity. You're going to get a plus one speed token and plus one strength token. Which character is this on? Joe Exotic. Wait, uh, Bone Club. Oh. <laughs> Be better if it was on the rib blade. Yeah. You ignore slow. It's Bone Club slow? No, it's cumbersome. Hmm. That's that's unfortunate. Okay. That's uh that's that. Okay. So we're 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 doing good right now. So Josh, this is your second character. It's Joe. Uh Joe is gonna find a stampede! A thunderous boom approaches. The survivors may hide if they do move the quarry one space back. Otherwise, all survivors gain a courage and the event revealer rolls a D ten. I mean, up to you, Home Slice. Anyone going to get a Courage Milestone? No. Uh, um, Twitch will get bold. Sure, let's do it. Oh, no. <coughs> Roll a 10. Did you really? Yep. Uh, the survivors corner one of the stampeding antelopes. Start the showdown immediately. Okay. We don't ambush it. Yeah, it's probably better to get in there before overwhelming darkness. Yeah. Um, but Twitch got bold, no so let's do that now. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. No survival on that is not no bueno. Uh, so they have uh, prepared. Be prepared. And they're gonna need to roll a d10. Let's see what they get here. High roll would be really nice. What about a low roll? Yeah. One through three is probably not good. Seven. Seven. Um, oh, one more would have been better, but they get plus one understanding. Oh, there's one more. Uh, plus one permanent strength. All right, so let's start the showdown immediately. It's time to... D -d 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 duel! No. Time to start the showdown. Why'd you say duel? Because no we're going to duel. There's no dueling. Yes, there is. No. 
blood. All right, what do we need? Uh, bug patch. A shitload of acanthus. And then two randoms. I believe so. I'm I'm going there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, Joshy. I promise you. Uh, two randoms, a bug, and three acanthus terrain cards. Let's get ready to TPK. TPK all day. All right. You pretty much have all the terrain by you already. No, I don't. Just use that. Uh, we got a Debris, a Survivor Corpse, a Bug Patch, and some Acanthus. All right, so Survivor Corpse set at least six spaces away from all other terrain. We have to start on the edge. I'm going to put Mother right in the facing, right? No, he's going to go first, right? Yeah, and he's just One, slightly two, too three, far away five, to six. actually do anything to us. Um, he can move really far. Hmm. He has eight movement. He eight? Yeah. Oh. Why did I think it was ten? Two, three, four, five. He has ten toughness. Yeah. So if I put mother here, and then we'll just be off to the sides. Okay. Sure. We'll do that. Um, Debris goes adjacent to a board edge. I'm going to put this next to red. Actually, I'm going to put this next to me. I'm kind of useless. <clears throat> All the terrain's, like, right there, Matt. In, like, the middle of the table. Like, right under... This is just two under things. Under the envelope there. Like, Why'd you put an envelope on top of it? You did. Why would I... No, I did not. You did that. Liar. Here, you can set these up. Right there. <laughs> yeah, Josh. And this goes four spaces down. One, two, three, four. Four spaces, four spaces. Let's put the canvas by us so we can eat it. Uh-uh. And then we'll do that over there. Why are you making things so difficult? How am I making it difficult? You know you're making them difficult. One, two, three, four. You want them all right here? Yep. Okay. You do you, boo-boo. Just a giant wall of acanthus right there. Uh, Monster has two traits in play to start with. First up is uh, Diabolical. Which is, at the end of the monster's turn, target a random survivor in the trample zone. Full move through and pass the survivor. Otherwise, full move forward. Trample. Um, is when the monster collides with the survivor, they suffer damage equal to the monster's level to a random hit location. That's it. Alright. Let's do the damn thing. Let's do it! Just do it! Just do it! Let's sausage! Yes. No, you have to do the countdown. Three, two, one. Let's sausage. Who's a monster controller? Uh, starting with mother. Huh? Mother. Doesn't look like it. Oh, uh, snarf, sorry. Why'd you lie? Because I'm a liar. Uh, he's going to stomp and snort, which is a random survivor in range. That one. He's going to graze. Um... What is Graze, Josh? It's just going to run forward and eat one of the Acanthus. The monster full moves towards the closest Acanthus plant and ends its turn. If the monster is on or adjacent to the Acanthus plant, archive this terrain and heal one wound. If there are no Acanthus plants on the board, full move forward in a straight line. So you move three spaces forward. And he's going to nom 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 And not actually heal. Right. He's just fat. Fatty Boombalati. And uh, that ends his turn. Yep, so no Diabolical. No what? Diabolical. What? 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 All right. And uh, so that's that's our turn. Okay. Just like that. One, two, three, four. What's the mother's movement? Five. Five? Yeah. So she can't get to him? Uh, can you move red so we, I can throw my bone dart at it? You don't want to get the... I'll get red green. I want, I want red to go. 
All right. Ray, Ray can throw the bone dart. Possibly get a reaction so the antelope moves closer. There you go. All right. I have two speed. All right. I hit on a seven plus. Not very good. Six and a four. Um, if, you know, you carry the one, that's no hits, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to get the thing with green now? Or? Yeah, I guess I'll grab the thing with green. Which one is that? That's the Debris. Debris. Hold the 10. Uh, you find rare gear. Gain a scrap sword. Forget if the scrap sword was any good. It's okay. Do you have room for it? Uh, this character actually does. The other one did not. Oh. That works out. Hell yes! This is the scrap sword. Um, it is very good early on. So this is a two speed, five plus accuracy, three damage. On a perfect hit, gain plus four strength. And if you sync up the affinities, it is deadly. That's nice. Um, all right, so that's the end of Green's turn. So Mother has to dash anyways. So do we want to have her dash Why and does she pounce have to, dash? to get to the antelope? I mean, we could just wait in other turns and see what happens. You could, or you can dash and pounce. Or she could run up and steal some acanthus. I don't know. Did you get your... What happened when you... I, didn't, the thing? I oh. didn't do that yet. Um, so that's the survivor corpse. I rolled a seven. Gained three insanity and a skull. Archive this terrain. Okay. <coughs> some insanity is not bad. Uh, that's That's handy. Oh, it's Scully. Um, oh, and then someone gets an insanity from the skull. Yes. Um, who um, needs one? Everyone has at least one. I'll give the second one to Mother. Okay. And then I need resources. <laughs> um, all right. So then we're going to have Mother run up and just grab a Canthus then? I mean, we could have them dash and... Stuff that's fine. I just keep in mind also that mother's got traumatized, so she gets knocked down if she ends adjacent to the antelope. That just means he's gonna attack one of us, most likely. Yeah, which we're all kind of far away. Yeah, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, let's do that. So they're gonna spend a survival, a survival and then um, they're gonna dash over to here, or they're gonna dash and then they're gonna pounce. They can do it. I just don't feel like mathing it out. Uh, so when they pounce, they get plus what? <sighs> plus one accuracy and plus one strength. Yeah. I'm debating if you should be one more space closer to you. <clears throat> Why? That way when the antelope runs forward, they're closer to wherever the antelope runs. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so they're going to roll four D10s. Their weapon hits on a six plus. Uh, they get plus one accuracy, so they hit on a five plus. Okay. 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 Okra? Four night, four solid hits here would make me a happy camper. Even three. What if they rolled four solid hits and got four trap cards? Uh, that's not possible. Eight, ten, one, nine. So, so three hits and one's perfect, so they get a plus one strength target, which they're gonna lose in a minute. But yeah, I mean they get it for this attack. I mean, though. if he runs away, they don't lose it. That's true. So three hits, right? Mm -hmm. Two. And a three. We did get a first strike location, so they are going to hit his restless eye first. Uh, so let's roll a d10. That's how I died. Is it? Yeah. They suffer brain damage. Yeah. Um, they have two natural strength, plus one strength token, so that's three strength, plus one from pouncing, so that's four strength, Plus two from their armor, so that's six strength. Plus two from their dagger, so that's eight strength. So they need two plus. Two plus to wound. Just, just enough. Okay. <laughs> um, you are not insane. Yeah. Yeah. So then that's that's that. So they're going to take a damage. So Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Indeed. Then they are going to attack. <laughs> Let's do let's do this one. The restless inner thigh. Josh, what sound does the antelope make when you hit his restless inner thigh? Meow. Yeah, exactly. Meow. 
I don't know if you got Keener Lucy right now. He's sounds like a cat now his head off. Um, but again, two plus two hundred. Ten. Oh, Crit. yeah. The monster's injury worsens as it moves. Whenever the screaming antelope moves, it suffers an additional wound. Discard this card at the end of the next round. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Okay. And then now they are going to attack his delicate inverted knee. Uh, are they attacking with a club or shield? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> A six. That's a wound. That's a wound. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. That's going to go here. That goes there. And we've all gone. Yep. It's the end of our turn. Twitch gets knocked down. So yeah. I need a knockdown token. They lose their plus strength token. I don't have my knockdown tokens over here right now. Why? Um, I left them in the office. Why don't you clean up after yourself, Joshua? Monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass over to... Uh, bust it. And uh, let's see what he does. What do you think he's going to do? Um, he's going to take a damage. Um, Hopefully. He's going to do back kick. So closest threat in range. Going to be red. So it is red. So he is going to take damage. Yep. So Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Um, then turn the monster. So he's going to move one, two, three, four, five. And he's going to kick you. Okay. Okay. Uh, he has plus one speed and plus one strength, so or plus one damage rather. So he's going to use two dice, hits on a three plus. Okay. Do you have any evasion? Uh, yes, I do. I have two evasion. So five plus eight and a six, two hits for four damage each. Uh, this is on red. <clears throat> four damage each. Yeah. Not the head. Not the head. Uh, head in the feet. It's the head. Agony of the head. Okay. Do you have any survival? Nope. Lost it all. <sighs> Rolled an eight. On the head. On the head. Okay. Uh, concussion. Your brain is scrambled like an egg. Gain a random disorder and a bleeding token. So, chat. Disorder time, please. When I say dis, you say order. Dis. Order. Uh, prima donna, each survivor turn, you must take your act first. Okay. Um, so when does Restless and I go away? At the end of the next round? So at the end of this time when we're all beating him up? Yeah. Okay. So he's going to do Diabolical now? Oh, yeah. I forgot or about that. Yeah, Diabolical. Yeah, he's Diabolical's red. Yep. All right. And so he's going to one, two, three, four, five, five, there. He takes a damage from it. Yep. And I take two damage to a location. To the feet! Did you suffer the agony of defeat? Let's see what happens. I rolled an eight again. Um, the severe trauma table. Oh, you take another severe injury? Yeah, because I already got hit in the feet from the first attack. Oh, did you? Yeah. A uh, broken leg. You hear an ear-shattering crunch. Adjacent survivors suffer a brain damage. That's no one. Uh, suffer minus one permanent movement. This injury is permanent and can be recorded twice. Gain a bleeding token. Okay. And now it's our turn. Mother stands up. Yes. Okay. Um, can green get close enough? One, two, three, four, five. Sure can. You can go to the butt, too. Yeah, why the hell not? Going for the bum? Let's go for the bum. Right in the bum hole. Again, get a bullseye, Josh. What are you attacking with? Uh, the rib blade. Uh, which is typically six plus since I'm in the bum. Five plus works. And you roll a five. I rolled a five. So that's that's a hit. Uh, you're attacking his restless ear. Are you attacking with a club or shield? I am not. Okay. I rolled a six. Uh, is that a wound? Uh, yeah, that's a wound. Math. Uh, five strength on the weapon plus six, eleven. Okay. It's a wound. All right. So Josh, please do some monster's life total by one. Okay. Uh, red. Red's knocked down. Oh. Um, I can't get close enough. They can with Mother? One, two, 
three, four, five. They have what six movement or five movement? Five movement. I five. Yeah, they can get close enough. Sure, let's try to take this guy out. Hopefully he gets a reaction where he runs away. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Yeah. Let's go for the other bomb. You're not going to have them... You they can can't have them. bounce. Why? They can't move far enough. It has oh. to be three spaces to bounce. Mm -hmm. So they have to full dash okay. to do that. So did you reduce their survival? Yeah, I reduced their survival. Okay. I put on the three. <clears throat> Should I have gone to the side? You should have gone to the side. Okay. Because they're going to get knocked down. Whatever. And then he's going to turn on me. And then the trample. Also, if it's something like the face the opposite direction of the attacker. The cat's annoying. Yeah, I don't know what's up with them. Uh, they rolled a 2, a 1, a 3, and a 10. So that's one hit. That's a perfect hit. But it's a perfect hit. So, so it's plus, plus the wound. Yeah, that's true. Uh, they're attacking his gnarled horns. Chat, please roll a d10. I'm going to go check on the cat. He's just meowing. Uh, they rolled a three. Three is a wound. So Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. As you ruin the green screen. Uh, so that's going to go there. Um, red is knocked down. I mean, I guess technically, chat, if you guys want, you can stand red back up. Joe Exotic, I think, back up, so that way we can try and do some more damage to the antelope. Just shout it out in chat if you want to do it, or if you don't want to do it, just let me know. Um, I've got no preference one way or the other. I think maybe we go for it, but I don't know. Why? Oh, that's right. They have prima donnas. So they can't. Okay. So we'll just leave them then. Um, that's going to be the end of our turn. Right? I guess I could still go. I can't really do anything, but I'll move closer. Um, so if he if he moves this way, right, he'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he'll stop there. Oh, yeah, 8. So he'll stop there. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, I'll do that, and then he'll run right up towards me, and then I could just smack him next turn. And then his restless inner thigh gets discarded. So it's the monster's turn. Monster controller is going to pass over to. And Josh is going to unmute his microphone. No. And uh, he's going to stomp. Stomp. Closest stomp. knockdown survivor. That's Twitch. Are they knocked out? Oh, yeah, they are knocked out. They are knocked out. Um, so move and attack. So he's going to face them. He's going to roll two d10s, and it hits on a two plus. It always hits the body. Oh. Now that you went and checked on your cat, he's meowing more now that you left. Give him more food. I figured that's what he wanted. No, he just wants to be annoying. Yeah. Uh, nine and a one. So that's one what hit, hit, one miss. I think they dodge. So it's three damage to the body, but they have the lion cloak, so it's just two damage to the body. But it says if this oh, damage the target, draw an AI card. They have to dodge. They have hypersensitive. No. So. All right. <clears throat> it was more of drawing another AI card. Yeah. Uh, so now then... he needs to pick a random survivor. Um, one through three is Twitch. Six through nine is either of your two characters. Yep. And then ten is a reroll. Okay. <clears throat> Going for Twitch. Okay. So one, two, three. What's the text of the diabolical four, say? But five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. At the end of the monster's turn, target a random survivor in the trample zone. Okay. I was sure if they had to be a threat or not. No. Uh, so they're going to take two damage to a hit location. Yep. Which they should be fine. Yeah. I mean, they've got more than two armor everywhere, right? Yeah. So they have to be fine. They have to be. They have to be. 
Nothing's gonna happen. They have to be! <sighs> the waste. You got trampled on your waist. Big disgrace. It's the end of your turn. It's our turn. It's the end of the antelope's turn. That's what I meant. That I was talking to the antelope. So, so Red's going to go first. I don't think Red can get close enough to throw a dart at it. No. By two. Uh, I'm just going to go run and grab it the Canthus then. I'll leave you there. I only have four movement. Uh, that's fine. Okay. I rolled a ten. Uh, gain a fresh account, the strange resource, and archive this trend. Yeah. Yeah, boy. All right. Um, I'll go. Um, do you want Twitch to go first? No. I rolled a four. What do you get? I find nothing. Poor shame. <laughs> um, now Twitch can go. Okay. One, two, three. They can get to the bum. Let's attack the bum. It's one out of pouncing distance, which is unfortunate. Yeah. All right. 40 tens. Hits on a 5+. plus. You can do it. Just do it! Just do it! I believe in a thing called Twitch. <laughs> right? Sure. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Four hits. Four hits. It's one more than I thought. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. No tarp. No tarp card. Um, Do that one last. So, yeah, we'll do giant teeth first. Josh, what do the antelope's giant teeth look like? Yeah, vampire? No, beaver. Oh, of course. I mean, antelopes and beavers are close cousins. Yeah. Ever there was a giant that. beaver monster? The older one. Wouldn't the lion god be considered a giant beaver monster? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, now they're going to attack the restless muzzle? Are they attacking with a club or shield, Josh? No. Hmm. How about now? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ice Chamber. Oh, don't give him the satisfaction. <laughs> uh, it's an eight. That is a wound. Yep. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by Uno. The the game. The okay. game Uno. That was funny. Come on. <laughs> Uh, you're attacking his restless back. Josh, are they uh, uh, hitting with a club or shield? No. How about now? Mm -mm. Okay. And they rolled a two. That is not a hit this or a wound this time. Yeah, they get three plus, right? Yeah. Uh, and now they are attacking the ferocious spasm. His spasm. They're going to get spasmed. Spasm. Spasm? What does it all mean, spasm? Really bad rolls. Yeah. Uh, but he is still going to, one at a time, uh, target each survivor in the zone of death, which they are, and perform basic action. So, so Josh, you know what I'm going to need you to do, right? What? Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and turn the antelope around. Turn around, Joshua! Can you move the microphone so it's not just constantly rubbing on your beard? How do you not hear that? I heard it. How do you not feel it? I felt it. Why do you do nothing about it? I was in the middle of doing something else. It's been like that. Three, five, ten. <sighs> three hits? Uh, Three hits. For two, one damage each. Okay. They have to dodge one. They can't. It's reaction. Oh. 
Uh, so one damage each, though, at least. That's not terrible. Right? Yeah. Right. As long as they don't get hit in the waist. Let the bodies hit the waist. No, they can even get hit in the waist three times. It wouldn't matter. And they rolled A. Head, waist, waist! So they're going to get a light on the waist. Big disgrace. Otherwise, they're fine. No, they're, they're knocked down. Yes, they're knocked down. Um, green? Knock up again. Um, green's going to... Trying to think. So, <coughs> move me three up. No, the other up. And two down. No, the, the two. That's not me. down. No, sorry, that's sorry. down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. Um, oh, I have probably had a band. I can check yeah. the eye cards. Yeah. Top two? Yep. Well, that one doesn't look very good. Um, Bite, which is closest survivor in field of view. Or Lone Rampage. The monster unleashes an awful whale. All non-deaf survivors suffer one brain damage. All knocked down survivors in the zone of death, which is Twitch, suffer one damage per monster level to every hit location. Yeah, let's let's not let's do not, that one. Yeah, let's not do that so, one. Wait, who is he going to target? Um, he's going to target the closest survivor in field of view. Just Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. Okay. If he's going to target Twitch... I saw it. Nice chamber. If he's going to target Twitch, I shouldn't move there. I should... He's going to trample forward at the end of his turn. Yeah. So wherever he's going to trample forward, I want to be like next to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there. So... Basically where you were. <laughs> um, okay, so that's the end of your turn? Yep. That's the end of our turn? Yep. Now it's Monster's turn? Yeah. Who's Monster Controller? Monster Controller is Mother! So she's going to get an insanity. Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. father. Flea sticks, mosquitoes. Really, Father? Uh, two plus to hit. Two dice. Do you think Mother has uh, ticks and fleas? We we all have ticks, don't you remember? <laughs> don't you remember the hunt, Joshua? Uh, two and a four. So unfortunately, they're both hits. It has to dodge one. Yes. I'm assuming we could roll both of them and determine yeah. which one we're dodging. Yep. They are gonna get a bleed though. Uh, yeah. Only one damage though. And they rolled a. The feet. Uh, they want to dodge the waste. Yeah, I figured they're dodging the waste. So give him a bleed and one damage to defeat. And then he's going to run over them. Yeah, so he's going to run forward. Where did you put Mr. Reachington? Where did you put him? We, no, I asked you where you put him. You put him behind you. I saw you have it earlier. But where? I don't know. You had it. Why are you so angry? Is it the time of the month again, Josh? Yes. They need to roll a hit location, Matthew. Two damage, right? Yep. All right. Uh, are they are they in pounce range, or are they still one space out? It's a it's a club. It's a no club. No. And it's got Josh's face on it. You see. Look, it's it's a real spitting image of you. <laughs> let me see it. No. Just let me see it. It even rubs its face against the microphone like you too. Uh their 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 body. They're gonna take two to the body, Josh. I it. Huh? I updated it. Mr. Richardson's right behind you. Next to the chair that holds the green screen. Told you. Put it right there. Alright. It's in the monster's turn, right? Our turn. Red goes first. Can red grab that acanthus? Can you throw a dart? If you move. Sure. There you go. Turn around. Two and a six. 
No hits. I'm gonna go with green now. Um, sure. Sure. I roll one d10 for green. Six. That is a hit. Uh, you're smacking that booty, Josh. The restless rump. Roll the ten. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Otherwise, it was gonna turn around and run over Twitch again. <laughs> Um, gain a screaming antelope resource. What do we and, get, Matt? And a damage. What do we get? Um, a screaming antelope resource. I told you. But which one? Uh, shank bone. Shank bones connected to the shank bone. We Just have all shank bones. I haven't gotten nearly as much resources as the last time. Um, but I'll I'll take it. It's fine. So now Twitch can Twitch can go. Twitch can go. Yeah. But he's one too far away to. Pounce, they can't, right? Yeah, they can't pounce. They can just go for the bum. Go into the bum. Oh, um, red, uh, green's going to take... One step forward. No, I want to take more than that. Why? Because they're going to get knocked down, and then if the antelope attacks me, I want it to trample me and not twitch. I only want one of us to be trampled. So move me, like, a couple spaces up. Yeah. Let's go there. Uh, they rolled a... Well, I, two, four, eight, ten. Two hits. One perfect hit. Yeah, two hits. And a perfect hit. So plus one strength. Ooh, plus one strength. Yeah. Plus one strength. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> Let's do the restless flank first. Chat, please roll D10. Uh, what did they roll? Two. Just enough. Uh, I don't think it is. They got plus one trend token. They didn't pounce though. No. Um they have two strength. Okay. Plus one strength token. Yes. Two from their weapon. Okay. Two from their armor. Okay. Two from the roll. One, two, they need three plus. Yep. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and I turn the antelope around. Um, this one's good, though, because if they wound here, uh, he takes a step back, and they won't get knocked down. Oh. One hop this time? Mm-hmm. Or cha-cha rails move. Bing, 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 bing. Left, 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 left. Exactly. They rolled a... Ten! Ten! Gain a screaming antelope resource. He doesn't, he doesn't jump. move. He doesn't jump back, though. <laughs> so they get knocked down. But they'll get up again. Never going to keep them down. Um... What do you think the shank bone's connected to, Josh? Uh, a shank bone. Nope, it's connected to his horn. Shank bone's connected to the spiral horn. A two. Between you and the cat. <sighs> um. All right, so they're knocked down. But they'll get up again. Yeah. I'm gonna try to grab the acanthus. Okay. I rolled a five. Um, you find something tasty and consume it, gain a survival. Oh, you have a survival now. I do have a survival that, now. That's good. That is good. And so I'm going <sighs> to... He's probably going to attack you, right? Which means he'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five... No. No, you don't. Five. Yeah, there you there. go. There. Okay. Um, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Monster turn? Yep. Monster control is going to pass. <sighs> Monster control is going to pass. Matt, I would stay one closer to me. Because if he does attack Twitch, you're in the trample area now. But I could dash now. You could. I'll live with the choices of my actions. Actually, he would just run up to you. I don't think he runs through you. Okay. 
I'm All okay right. with this. I'll search, change the snarf. Hey, Josh, you know what he's going to do? What? Come on and slam if you want to jam. It's attacking Twitch. It's attacking Twitch. Uh, so we're going to need 2d10s to be rolled. It hits on a 2+. plus. Josh, did you come on and slam? If you want to jam. Yeah, he's going to run right up to you. So we want him to target you. Yeah. Fitty, fitty. Fitty, fitty. And they rolled a... One and a four. So they no have hit. to dodge, so no hits. Yeah, no hits. They're only down to one survival, though. That's fine. Um, so we've seen all of his potential AI cards. Okay. Roll a d10. Evens or odds, Matt? What? What did you say? Even or odds. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll take evens. Okay. Going for me. Runs right One, up to you. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nay! And I go, hey! To get it. Mm -hmm. It's our turn, right? Yeah. Uh, Red's got to go first. Yeah. <sighs> Should I go in the butt? Why not? If he moves, he's going to run over one of us. Whatever. What are you tagging with? My bone dart. Oh, you're you're playing. Yeah, right, right in the hole. Mm. Right. I I can't use my bone club because I have to move. Go for the bullseye, Josh. Three and a ten. One hit. So you hit. Uh, you're hitting his furry tail. I rolled a one. You, you gently caress his tail. What's that? Okay. Um, I'm going to smack him in the face. Uh, my weapon is a 265? 264. So, two dice. Six. So, you could move one space back. Oh, yeah. If you want. Yeah, let me do that. I'm going to move here. So, that way I'm not in a trampoline area. Uh, nine and a one. One hit. Trap card! Activate his trap card! It's screaming antelope panics. It's undermouth unleashing an inhuman whale. <laughs> it bucks wildly and leaps into the air. The attacker is doomed. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer two brain damage per monster level, knock back five, and are knocked down. I suffer brain trauma. No, I get my box checked. I don't suffer brain trauma. Four yet. brain damage? Oh, per monster level? Two brain damage per monster level. Oh, yeah, I suffer a brain trauma. I rolled an eight. I uh, believe that's lunacy. Are danger seizures? Lunacy. Gain a random disorder and one D5 insanity. Chat, give me a disorder. Or give Josh a disorder. I got one insanity. Uh, anxiety. At the start of the showdown, gain the priority target token, unless you have sneaky gear in your gear grid. The monster lands on its belly and begins to slide on its teeth. Turn the monster directly away from the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. On a collision, non-deaf survivors gain one random disorder in addition to the normal collision rules. Run into the wall. You can have him run over red? That's what he has to do, isn't it? This is away from you. You're diagonal. Hold on. And begin to turn the monster directly away. Oh, you're right. So, so let's, you just yeah. have him run right yeah. into the board edge. You're right. I thought turn around. No. All right. So he just runs there. And then we shuffle his uh, hit location deck. All things considered, not terrible. I just got knocked back. Knocked down two. Knocked down two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, green. Yeah. I guess I'll go in the bum. Oh, you're going for the cheeky. Yeah. You feeling cheeky, Josh? I rolled a nine. That was a, a hit. hit. All right. What are you hitting? I don't know. His giant tongue. Minus two toughness at this location. Well, the six? That's a wound. That's a wound. Blood and spittle erupt from the screaming antelope's wounded undermoth. The wound result is even. It is? Suffered one brain damage. Okay. Josh, please do some monster life for a while. I did. Okay. Um, Twitch really can't do anything besides get closer. And they can go for the bug. I think they just get closer. Ice Chamber was saying go for the bug. I think they should go. You got to give Red's the people go for bug. You got to give the people what they want. Though we said that 
did we say that mother can't interact with terrain? I don't remember what the rule was. Are you are you making well, no, this up no, right now? No, we talked about. I know we talked about with the stone face. Yeah. Like she can just climb over it. I don't remember what the rule I set for the terrain is. I don't see why she couldn't hunt bugs. I mean, cats do that all the time. I'm gonna see what I wrote. <laughs> Fine, Josh. Take our bug away from us. It's fine. Let's play smart. <laughs> it's when do we play smart, Ice Chamber? Come on. Josh is furiously typing right now to mm -hmm. be like, you can't do what Ice Chamber wants. That's the rules. No, I don't have anything in the rules right now, though, currently. Oh, wait. Yeah, how does Mother interact with terrain? Mother cannot interact with any terrain. Oh, okay. She treats terrain just like any other monster. So she can easily climb over stone faces and such. Okay. Fair enough. So we'll have her run towards the antelope. Unless we have her dash. I don't think it's worth her last survival to do that. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Um, if, like, the monster is about to die. Yeah, it's a different story. That's our turn. That was five moments for her, right? Okay. That's our turn. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Monster's turn. Yeah. Monster control is going to pass. Two! A set. I like that you say it slightly differently every time. Uh, he's going to stomp. 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 Closest knockdown survivor. It's That's red. red. It's going to go for you. Can he reach me? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, so he's going to do 2d10s. Hits you on a 2 plus. Do you have any evasion? Uh, I have 2 evasion. So 4 plus to wound. Yep. Do you have any survival? Nope. I do have Volcanus. I could eat it if I need to. It's just that this is if the attack does damage. To yeah, draw I either. know. 10 and a 2. So 1 miss, 1 hit. Okay. It's it's a body blow. Oh, it's always body? Yeah, it always hits your body. Oh, that's fine. Uh, um, three damage to your body. All right, I think a light on the body. That's not a big deal. Okay, and then he's gonna draw an AI card. Yep. All right, and he is going to nibble. He's gonna bite. Closest survivor in field of view. You know who that is, Josh? That's uh, you. Me. That's you. <laughs> Took you a while. Uh, four plus to wound again. Okay. How does this make you feel? Um, not great. How about a two and a three? No hits. No hits. Uh, so, which one's evens, which one's odds? Uh, red will be odds. Green even. Okay. Though I realize I have them switched up on the... <laughs> oh, I'm not even playing it. Oh. Don't confuse me now. I'm just extra curious. Five. Uh, so it's going to run through red. Ah. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> Alright, lost my two arm armor. Arm armor? Arm armor. Arm armor, arm armor, arm armor, arm armor, arm armor. That's, uh, that's the end of the monster's turn. Okay. It's our turn. You know what Twitch is just close enough to do? Not pounce? Get in the bum, though. Okay. They don't have to dash, they can just All get right. in the bum bum. Red's just laying down on the. No, Red's up now. Yeah. So Red can go first. Okay. He's how many spaces away? One, two, three, four, five spaces away. All right, so I'm just going to shoot from where I'm at. Pew, 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 pew! Make the pew, pew sounds. You have pew, to make pew. pew, pew. Seven and a six. That's one hit. All right. Um, you're attacking his delicate inverted knee. Are you attacking with a club or shield? No. Hmm. I rolled a seven. Is that a wound? That is a wound. You do a wound. Woot, woot. In the boot. Okay. Now Twitch is going I'm going to move. Okay. Uh, that way. That way. That, that way. way. I can move four spaces. All right. Now Twitch is going to go there. Twitch, you know what to do. Four D10s. Four D10s? Yeah. What does it hit on, Josh? Uh, I don't know. Five plus? In your heart of hearts, you knew. But what about in your fart of farts? You know all about farts yesterday. I think that was Friday back. He was teaching you the arts of farts. 
You mean the the farts? Farts. And they rolled a one nine seven eight. Who do we appreciate? Not you. Oh, it's, they they hit three times though. Are they attacking with a club or shield, Josh? Nope. Hmm. You sure? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're gonna attack his restless ear first. Smack him right in the ear. <clears throat> Shlapa de beige. They have two. Their weapon has two. Their armor gives them two. That's it. So four plus. So one. Does that work, Matt? <sighs> you know, Twitch has been rolling exceptionally poorly today. Exceptionally poorly. Yeah, is Friday back a martial fartist? Maybe. Maybe he's a class of martial artists. Fartists. Four. That's just enough. That is enough to wound. So, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. I have three health left. Left. I have four. I'll take your word for it. I might have missed one. Maybe. And now we're attacking the restless chest. The restless chest. Restless chest. Restless. Ten. Oh, gain one screaming antelope resource. Uh, the screaming antelope gains a minus one damage token. Nice. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. He doesn't one. run. He does. What do you mean he doesn't run? The wound. Oh, reaction. oh, the wound reaction. And uh, what what uh, what is his shank bone and his horn connected to? Uh, his flank. Uh, no, just his skin. Mm. It's coarse and warm. It's coarse and warm and gets everywhere. So Torch gets knocked down. But they'll get up again. Yeah. Then we're going to keep him down. Do you want to go collect an acanthus? It's acanthus time! Yeah! Oh, an eight! That's an acanthus. Okay. Yeah. Should I grab the other acanthus or should I just do her? Check the last AI card to see what it is. It's going to happen anyway, so I don't know if it really matters. So I guess I'll grab the other acanthus. Yeah. Roll the four. You find nothing. You can't eat anything. Huh? He can't eat anything anymore. That's, that's true. Well, he can eat the bug. Uh, he's not allowed to eat the bug. He can, though. He could try, I guess. Maybe we'll kill him. It's the end of our turn. Monster, yep. It's now the monster's turn. Yep. Monster control is going to pass, too. Joe Exotic. Uh, he's going to stomp. Stomp. It's going to attack Twitch. Close stomp. to knock down the survivor. Uh, does you find nothing archive this terrain? or It's actually archive this terrain. Yeah, it says you find nothing archive this terrain. Um, so we're going to need to roll two d10s, hits on a two plus. Okay. Then we're going to give you up. And then he's going to do a basic action. Why? If he if it if damage. he wounds. Yes. Seven to seven. Okay. You have to dodge one of them, but yeah. you roll it's two hit locations. It's a body. Oh, it's anyway. bodies. Okay. So they take how much? Two. One? No one. Oh, you're one right. You're right. Yeah. And then now he does a basic, which yes. is the attacking the closest knockdown survivor in range. Okay. I didn't remember him attacking knockdown survivors as much as he did. <laughs> oh, they had to dodge that, so they have no more survival. Yeah. They can't dodge anymore. Yeah. How is their uh, armor looking? Body and waist have zero armor. Mm. But, like... This should be fine, still. Mm. Uh, the trample's going to be bad. Mm. 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 Uh, two, seven, seven. Two still hits, which really sucks. Yep. Um, so three hits for one damage each. Ah. <sighs> 
think we gotta get mother out of there. Body, waist, head. Alright, so they're down to one head armor, um, light on the waist and the body, I believe. I haven't been keeping track of them. Um, I, I have. Did you check anything on them? No. All right, just check those. All right, and then he's going to run over them, right? Yep. Let's see where it hits them. Hopefully not the waist of the body. Which ones did you say get light again, Josh? Uh, waist and the body. Let the body hit the waist. Let the body hit the waist. Sphere body injury. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one, two, three, four, six, five. Here comes the one. Happens to mother. <clears throat> Instant death. The blow sends a bone fragment directly into your heart, killing you instantly. And so ends season 10. Yeah. Not what you were expecting, I'm assuming. No, no. I mean, it's good that it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. We had some pretty bad luck with our yeah. our stuff. Yay, death! All right. Um, thank you, folks, for joining us here where Josh's green screen is still messed up from when he tripped over it before. Twitch plays Kingdom Death. Um Damn, I just redeemed Carol fucking Baskins and the laser pen sickness disorder. I mean... Those will stay in. They'll stay in. We're probably just going to restart the campaign. Yeah. yeah. So... I'm assuming you want to play through this campaign. Yeah, yeah. I, I would like to play through it. Uh, so, folks, thank you for joining us. This is going to conclude this campaign of Twitch, or this this season of Twitch Plays King of yeah. Death. Make sure you're joining us for all of our upcoming streams. Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we do our continuation of the uh, D&D campaign that we're doing where Ann and I are playing characters and you folks are DMing with Josh. So definitely come check that out. Um, join us in our discord channel to come up with ideas and chit chat with Josh about it next week, uh, Tuesday, eight thirty PM Eastern time. We're going to be restarting this campaign. Yep. Um, so unfortunately this one didn't go that well. Yeah. Mostly because of bad luck. But again, that means that this is hard. It means that it's not as easy as some of our other campaigns that we've played through. So we're upping the level of difficulty. We're trying some different stuff out. Um, if you like what you see, make sure excuse me, make sure you're joining us for that. And uh, again, join us in our Discord channel where you can come up with more ideas to help Josh flesh out the finer details of this campaign yeah. as we progress. Uh, this will be se season eleven. It'll be season eleven. It's just season ten was a short season. Yeah. Uh, if you've got Amazon Prime, you get Prime Gaming. I think Gaming. it's one of our shortest seasons now. Yeah. Yeah. It's embarrassing. <laughs> um, Josh, I suggest you revise Mommy in such a way that death is not final. She just becomes wounded, and we can fix her in the settlement. Maybe. No, no, I do like if she dies, she dies. It's it's the... Risk-reward. It's the risk-reward of bringing her out early. Um, she needs to ramp her evasion, I think. But we'll see. Um. Yeah. Otherwise, anything else, Josh? I don't think so. Alrighty. Signing off for now. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Nighty night. Bye.